get ready. If you're anything like us, sometimes you need a Disney World kick when you're at home. This can include listening to podcasts and watching on ride POVs, vlogs, and even Disney World movies. There's many examples of movies based on famous Disney attractions. I'm sure plenty of you are aware of, say, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, or even the Haunted Mansion starring Eddie Murphy. But there's a select few movie examples that were actually filmed on Walt Disney World property that weren't produced by Disney themselves. Not only were they not produced by Disney, they were actually created without the knowledge of the Disney company as a whole. In today's video, we wanted to take a look at some of the Disney World movies that were created in secrecy. These are examples of films produced without the prior consent of the Disney company while shot on Disney property. In fact, it's likely all three of these would not have been produced had the producers requested permission. If you're looking for a somewhat unique take on the Disney World parks, we have you covered. In today's video, we're going to look at three movies secretly filmed on Disney World property. Get ready! The Further Adventures of Walt's Frozen Head, 2018 The Further Adventures of Walt's Frozen Head plays on the common urban legend many Disney fans are aware of. The legend goes that Walt Disney actually had his head cryogenically frozen after he died. Many believe his head is actually stored underneath Pirates of the Caribbean in Disneyland. As this film is included amongst other Disney World movies, the film supposes that Walt's head is actually in Florida. It's a whimsical story that portrays Walt recruiting the help of a Magic Kingdom cast member to show him around the park. This includes many scenes where Walt visits classic attractions, including a ride on the TTA People Mover. Considering the content, the movie had to be filmed guerrilla style without the consent or knowledge of the Disney company. This makes for some interesting filming techniques and stylistic choices, to say the least. Based on it being an independent production, much of the film's budget was actually crowdfunded online. Donors to the project received certain returns for pledging various amounts of money. Some of the credits in the film actually feature the donors. The movie also stars Ron Schneider in the titular role of Walt Disney. Many may know the actor as he played the original Dreamfinder in Journey to Imagination at Epcot. The Florida Project, 2017 the Florida Project takes a harrowing look at the Kissimmee area that surrounds Walt Disney World. The film shows the social and economic implications of communities living next door to one of the world's top vacation destinations. It depicts many adult themed scenes addressing poverty, unemployment, homelessness and crime. The story follows six-year-old Mooney, living in a nearby motel with her unemployed single mother. Throughout the movie, we see Mooney and her friends create their own adventures. These are often skewed depictions of Disney World attractions like the Haunted Mansion and even Kilimanjaro safaris, although they are seen through a lens of the harsh reality that surrounds them. One scene in particular was shot secretly in Magic Kingdom. The director, Sean Baker, had previously filmed an entire movie utilising only iPhone 5S smartphones. He opted to take a similar approach for the pivotal Magic Kingdom scene, although he upgraded to an iPhone 6S this time. The crew secretly filmed within the park, and without the knowledge of the Disney company. This is definitely the most emotional of the three Disney World movies featured in this video. But every fan of the resort should at least watch it once. It's a powerful and moving story with amazing acting from throughout the cast. Escape from Tomorrow, 2013 Our final pick is definitely the most infamous out of all Disney World movies secretly filmed on property. The plot focuses around the final day of a family trip to the resort. Considering it's a surreal horror movie though, things don't go exactly as planned. The father starts to experience more and more unsettling and disturbing visions as he loses touch with reality. On-ride footage is shown throughout, however many depicting twisted visions. These include scenes on well-known rides like Big Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain and Grand Fiesta Tour. It's a brash and very low budget film, so don't expect an Academy Award winning blockbuster. Escape from Tomorrow was the original guerrilla produced film set in Walt Disney World. The cast and crew entered the parks as if they were typical visitors. They shot the film using handheld cameras and phones that tourists would use. This meant that they would mostly go undetected by park security. Once filming had concluded, the director actually took the footage to South Korea. This was done in an attempt to hide the footage from Disney and also detract away from any potential publicity. It later premiered at the 2013 Sundance Film Festival. Although Disney were aware of the film's existence, they didn't take any action. It's believed the Disney company didn't want to take legal action against the film in fear that the surrounding press would, in fact, actually draw more attention to it. Even if the movie were to be removed from the indie festivals, it's certain that it would end up on the internet. 
this would be even more difficult to control, with piracy rampant on many torrent sites. Have you seen any of these three films featured in today's video? Leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And as always, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and press the subscribe button to keep up to date with the channel. We have new videos every week. Now you're ready.